Good morning. I am Reverend Fleeta Bowl. The title of our devotional today is Our Faith Reflects the Condition of Our Heart. Our scripture was taken from the New Testament, the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 17, and it reads, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love. The Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines the physical heart as a muscular organ that pumps and maintains blood flow throughout our body. If something interrupts our blood flow, we have developed a heart condition. Many years ago, prior to my mother's passing, she developed an irregular heartbeat. The doctors addressed this problem by inserting a pacemaker in her body that regulated the beat of her heart. For the rest of her life, she never had a problem with her heart. Also, my late husband developed clogged arteries. He had an operation to clean them out, and he never had a problem with his heart. So I know, and some of you know, from personal experience that doctors can repair a physical heart condition, even transplant a new heart into a person. However, the word heart in scripture has a much broader definition that will not be exhausted in this devotional. In scripture, the heart is viewed as the very center or core of a human being. Bible Compact Dictionary denotes that, and this is a quote, nearly all the references to the heart in the Bible refer to some aspect of human personality. Emotions are experienced by the heart. Love, hate, joy, sorrow, peace, bitterness, courage, fear, and more. Our thought processes are said to be carried out by the heart. So as believers, we have to be careful of what we allow to enter our heart. According to scripture, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 23, King James Version, it says, keep thy heart with all diligence. And the same verse in the NIV says, to guard our hearts. The heart of the matter is, our level of faith is dependent upon the condition of our heart. So that as believers, we can avoid a spiritual heart condition by refusing the overall societal negativity to take residence in our hearts, by rejecting the human experiences of anger, unforgiveness, envy, jealousy, and such to remain in our hearts. Our faith and belief in Christ as Lord and Savior and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit should be in our hearts. According to scripture, the NIV, Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 23 reads, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So today, may God grant us the ability to receive the fruit of the Spirit in our hearts. Retain the fruit of the Spirit in our hearts and reflect the fruit of the Spirit that is in our hearts hearts. Have a spectacular day in the Word.